The setup is real important, and what you want to do is you want to try to make sure that you keep the wind at your back, always. The ducks land in your face, so keep the wind at your back, put your decoys in front of you. And let's just say we were hunting in the timber and use that for a, for a situation, and you had ducks flying across at a couple of hundred yards. Well, you'd give them a call and it'd be something like this. <laughs> Okay, and when the ducks start coming towards you, you want to make double sure that you stay real still and stay on the shady side of the tree. As they're coming towards you, you don't really need to call unless they get off course. But as long as they're coming, just let them come on. Now, when they're right over the hole, <clears throat> you make sure you don't call at that time because they'll pinpoint you. But as soon as the last duck gets past you and in is already passed, then go ahead and give them a little comeback call. It'd be something like this. Okay, and that's what we call calling on the corners. We're gonna call them here, and then we're gonna call them downwind. And when they turn from right here and they start going downwind, it's real important now that you let them go down there 75 or 100 yards before you call them again. Now then, if they start to get off course, it's fine to go ahead and call them and get them back on course, but as long as they're doing what you want to do, just let them go ahead and go on down there. And then when they get down there about 75 or 100 yards, you're going to have to hit them a little bit louder. It'll be something like this. <laughs> and then they're going to turn, they're going to come back towards you, and either that pass or the next pass, it's either the second or the third pass, they're going to land. So make sure you stay perfectly still while the ducks are right over the hole and are coming in. Now then, if they don't land on that second pass, then just repeat the process. Call them on this corner and that corner on the third pass. Now if the ducks are at a longer distance, say that you're in a big rice field or a river or a big lake, uh, I'd use a competition call or something that's really got some volume because you may be calling the ducks uh, you know, a quarter to a half a mile away. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna blow you a hail call that they would use even in Stuttgart down on Main Street. Now, first, let me tell you that a hail call is not supposed to sound like a duck. It's supposed to sound like several ducks at a distance. But anyhow, this is what one sounds like. But that's for ducks at a, at a terrific distance, and what it does, it gets their attention, then when they come in closer, then you can go ahead and either switch to a softer call or a different call that's not quite as loud. For the person that's just starting out duck hunting and wants to learn to duck call, uh, there's loud calls and there's softer calls. I make a little timber call, it's a little bit softer. It's a little bit easier to learn on. On the loud call, uh, it kind of magnifies uh, the errors when you do make an error. Uh, they're good for long distance, but they're hard to learn on. So I want to I want to this little timber call and show you exactly how to start off. When you, when you put the call in your hand, you want to put it between your thumb and your forefinger and cup your hand down around it. When you bring your hand down, you'll actually make the, the tone lower. When you raise your hand up, it makes the tone higher so you can actually adjust it on the call. When you put it to your lips, you put it on your lips like you're drinking out of a Coke bottle, like this. Now then, what you want to do is you want to say a word into that call. And the word I like to use is hut. It's hut, hut, and you're saying it out loud into the call. It'll be something like this. <laughs> Okay, if you can learn to do that, you can learn to call ducks. What you want to do is just like building blocks. From that step, you want to go to a little louder quack, and, it, and I'm going to work up. Okay, right there is the first note of your cadence. And if you'll practice on that first note, it comes off of a cadence just like this. And I'm going to do it a little slow. Okay, and this is what it, one note. But that's all there is to learning how to blow a duck call. If you can learn that one note, you can put it into a cadence and you can sound just like a duck. Now, if you blow a long cadence, it's more like a hail call. If you blow a little shorter cadence, it's more like a greeting call. And a fast cadence is more like a comeback call. All of them work off of this same quack. And if you learn to use that and learn to do that quack, You'll be a good duck caller.